Hello and welcome to One Heart Heroes. You're not gonna say your name? Oh, I'm Wade. Jesus! <laughs> Look what I gotta work with, people. I just expected you to say Look I'm Cody, I gotta and, work then I with. and then I would have came in and said I'm Wade. Uh huh. And I'm Cody. Yeah. So he's spoiling it for them. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I just I'm I, done here. No, <laughs> I'm done. Fucking I'm walking away. Talent walking out, or should I say non-talent? Ah. <laughs> Right, Diva. Yeah. All right, so on to the boss fight. Also, the point of pointlessness. Right, right. We'll we we'll right after this cutscene. Oh, okay. So you're ba you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby. What? Then Yoshi dash baby. Yoshi dash baby. <laughs> I'm get a load of this. And there's Kimmick. <laughs> Oh, she's a real bitch. <clears throat> Ain't that the truth? He had to pull up his draws. Yeah. Okay. Huh. That doesn't seem too hard to beat. I got out of his duck whenever he's around, right? Yeah, but like... I guess when you run out of eggs is when he starts... It's becoming a, an issue. Yeah. Because then you gotta go over there and get them. That's why I come in with a full thing of eggs. I got you. So, anyways, the point of pointlessness. His pants are slowly dropping, and I don't want to see what he's storing down there. Maybe he'll be like uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, man. Nope. No. Oh, God! Oh, he does nothing. He's like a Barbie doll. Smooth as a Ken doll. Smooth as a Ken doll. Sorry, that's that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. All right, Barbie dolls have those like little Bumps. weird. Yeah, like well, they're they're on oh, my sister's Barbie doll is a Q, I think. Like really, there's like Qs, or maybe they're Bs. What? Like on her crotch? What? 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 I don't know what you're talking about. I was talking about like the boob bump. Oh no. Um. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, pulling the pants off a Barbie doll. I just remember it was one of my sister's Barbies. Um, I feel really weird saying this. Yeah, no, we're all listening now. <laughs> <laughs> like, for the pubic region, it had, like, lots of little bees, like, like engraved onto it. It was, it was oh. weird. That's weird, man. The Barbie thing? Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm... I swear I'm not nope. making this... Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's okay. I swear I'm not making this up, man. Like, it... I'm 99% sure that that happened in my childhood. That's so very weird. I was like, why do they put those there? <laughs> of course. Well, young Cody. Young, young, naive Cody. So, anyways, yeah. That's, that's, that's I guess, that's my random Barbie's doll story that I... Suddenly had to reveal. So, <laughs> that suddenly had to reveal. Like mm. you could have been like, "No, I'm I'm good, guys. I don't want to talk about it." Well, then people had gotten really suspicious. Yeah, that's what we want—a little drama, a little little something something a little to get people action. going. There you go. Action. Wait. What? I can't remember how that song goes now. Hell if I know. Captain Planet, he's our hero. Shit. Shit. No, I gotta. Gonna take pollution down. Shit. Zero. All right, I gotta focus. On. There you go. Okay, got it. All right. Anyways, uh, no, it was like it's from Kung Fury, I think. Action. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. <laughs> oh no, that was a great movie though. You watched it? Kung Fury. Fuck. Of course I watched Kung Fury. I didn't watch it. But you're talking about the movie, right? Yeah, the movie. Yeah, it was great. The YouTube movie. Yeah. It was not. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something else. What the fuck were you thinking of? I don't know. Um, How can you get on me for not watching something and you don't even know what you were watching? Fuck. All right, guys. We're going to be on this level for a minute. <laughs> Apparently. Um, Let me think here. What was I? What was I? What was I? What was I? What was I thinking? God, I have to Kung, Kung Fu Hustle. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that, but I wanted to watch it. It was it's really good. I heard it was pretty funny. It was pretty damn hilarious. That's what I was thinking of. Um. Anyways, we got to get back on topic, man. The point of pointlessness. Right. So we had a big debate this weekend. And um, 
pretty much it's it's like you want to you want to get you explain this better so, than I can. All right, guys. Let's let's say that you've been playing Borderlands and you have the best weapon in the game. Let's just say. Um like what is the point of still farming for legendaries once you have the best? Why do we do that as humans? Like what is our need for that? I don't understand. Like there is no point to go out and get a better gun. Okay, another thing, you have the best weapons in the game, but you can still craft better weapons. No, well, not better weapons, you can still craft weapons. Why do we keep crafting weapons? Like, there's no point. It's, you got the best, you did it, hooray. I, maybe, maybe that's not like a well, like, a widespread issue, but I know that I do it. What the fuck causes us to do that? <laughs> Is that the question? Wait, are you just looking to like figure out if uh, someone else has the same issue that you do? What, what's the meaning of life? What's that? What? That's that was not the question. What? <laughs> the point of pointlessness, man. Point right, of pointlessness. right. The point of pointlessness. <laughs> right, let's get like, back on subject. Uh, Cody, like, okay, like for real, Cody in Minecraft is probably the worst thing in the world. Cody can't play Minecraft. I wish I could. Cause that like poor, that he was he was happy. He was. he was like he had flowers in his hair, man. Like he legitimately was a happy shy guy. That's so bad. <laughs> He's yeah, just a dead he was, shy guy now. He was living out his peaceful loving days as like he got away from King Koopa and was loving love and yeah. Loving love. So close. Fuck. Right? Um anyways. But, yeah. Like I can't, I can't play Minecraft because, like, it just I I I don't know. The just making stuff doesn't do it for me. I feel like I need a point to make stuff. Like, why do I need to make a nuclear reactor? I mean, it, well, see, like, I, I need some end you game do, to like, go towards. You need to like make the nuclear reactor that way that you can power all of your gadgets. That way you can get into space. That's if you. That's the if real the point. Space. Why eat him again? <laughs> Stop it! He's happy! Let him be! Damn! The real thing here... Sadistic son of a bitch. Uh, eat the singing flower, too. <laughs> so, Anyways, you monster. So, like, the real issue here is, like, you see no point in going to space. Like, in Minecraft. Well, that's even if the space mod works, but... Which is sketchy at best. Right? Um... Like I, I don't know I, I I would be fine with like a goal of going to space. We never did that. We couldn't um, get the space mod to work. Exactly. But, but look, I need some end goal. I can't just play Minecraft just to play Minecraft. I can't play GTA just to dick off because I, I like, can't I can't do in um, sandbox games. Because what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna kill people enough, uh, with some guns. I'm gonna run some people over. I'm gonna run some hookers over. That that's. That's gonna be my experience. I'll be like, okay, I'm done. I've like gonna gonna go, gonna get hookers, gonna run that hooker over to get your money back. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's the GTA experience in a box for me. Yeah. And I mean, for people that love Minecraft, keep on loving it. People that love GTA, keep on loving it. It's just that I, for some reason, am like broken and cannot, <laughs> <laughs> like I cannot seem to enjoy it anywhere near as much as some other people do. You are way overshooting that man. Oh. Just oh, there you go. What? He fought. He fought hard, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> Your determination has failed you. Right? Whoa. Hey. But anyways, yeah, that's that's you know, just just a question for the general populace. Oh, no. Damn it. Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna still be up there. <laughs> nope. So <clears throat> anyways, um now. Another Shit. conversation we had this week Shit. <laughs> was, uh, well, we were talking about VR. We were talking about the, uh, technically, we we're specifically talking about the HTC yeah. View. Yeah. Anybody which, that hasn't seen that thing, check out Barnacles' review of it. It's amazing. It I really don't need is. One. I don't need whatever the fuck's in that question mark. Like, it tracks <sighs> one to one, pretty much. I hope um, it's going to be a flower. Shit. The man, like, like, you can get this, the controllers. Get the controller. 
and you see it in the uh, you see it in the HR or VR, sorry. And you can like flip it. You can flip it in the air and watch it and catch it in the air, like real life and in game. You can flip it, watch oh, it, and catch it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that is how beautifully well it tracks. Yeah, it it is seriously one to one, guys. It it's amazing what the guys over at HTC did for sh for real. Yeah, for, like, for Shereal. For Shereal. Like, I feel like this may take down the Rift because, like, dude. It has the potential to if they don't, like, step up their game. Because, like, I mean, they started it. Let's be honest. They started it <coughs> and had some really great ideas, but, like, they took so long to deliver. Yeah, they could not. They just did not execute as yeah, well as they could have. And, like, too many people have, like, jumped in the game and put their... Uh, put their name in the too hat. Many people, too many people. They're bigger, bigger people. Like Google and Sony, and Microsoft is doing something. Sony, I, still I, the, I thought Sony would be the big comp big competitor, but I haven't heard a lot about the Morpheus recently. I haven't either. But I feel like maybe it'll just come out just in time and be like, bam, like, well, like you know, witness me. Naturally, it's gonna have the competitive edge. Because yep. they're going to be making games and, like, programming them, like, from day one to be compatible, you know? Excuse me. Yeah, true. It's, yeah, so, like, they're... I just want a VR headset that's compatible with everything. I know that's not going to happen, but they're going to be so expensive, Wade. Well, so that's, expensive. that brings us to the point of the view is, like, um... It's like $800 for pre-orders, guys. Oh, that hurts. I didn't know that. Yeah. How much is the Rift? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm thinking it's not $250 anymore like they yeah. said it was going to be. Yeah. But they did say that that's what it was going to be. God, speaking of which, there is a... Uh, like, me and we're talking because, like, to get the real experience, man. The real, the real experience of traveling around the gaming world. <sighs> so, need, all right. So, need, I'm, I'm sorry, wait. so, like, to understand where we're coming here from, coming from here, like, go, like, like, pause the video right now. Go watch all of Sword Art Online or Log Horizon. That's what Cody and I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, stop, stop what you're saying right there, wait. And like, season two, we, what? Season two is what we want. They're not like locked in a death thing there. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> we don't want everyone to be locked in to like. The game forever and people dying no we we just like if you die in the game you die for real <laughs> yeah Which you know what i'm talking about said so much <laughs> anyways yeah that's it's just you know we like we want to be immersed into the game like i would love honestly a better example in my opinion would be uh ready player one like that kind of vr experience actually yeah that's a pretty would good be one great because what it is like in the in the game or in the book, I mean, <laughs> sorry. Uh, which they're turning people, that into a movie, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I know. But I say more people will be able to know, uh, understand what we're talking about. Like they had suits with haptic feedback. They had, uh, and what haptic feedback is is that it uh, it pretty much like when, whatever you touch in game, you feel it because like little sensors will stimulate your nerves or something. Like you know, they'll touch your hand. You can feel what you're actually supposed to touch. So, like, you can walk in-game and you can touch stuff in-game and then you'll feel it. You know, just that kind of experience that it really immerses you into the game would be so amazing. And that's what we would really want someday in the future, which, I mean, that may not that may not come around in our lifetime. God, I hope so. <laughs> I feel like haptic feedback is a thing right now. It kind of is, but it's not perfected. I remember no, I think it's all it. just a pain thing now. Whew, I need some water. Hang on. Code is perspiring, y'all. <coughs> uh, uh, water tried to kill me. And dying. <laughs> well, you know what they say: 100% of people who drink water die. You're right. Well, only, but 99% uh, like of smokers. Of people smokers die. Yeah, yeah, smokers die. <laughs> so 1% though, man. That's like a slash. He's never gonna die. No. God, He's just he preserved. Right. God, I can't remember who it was. Like every time you smoke a cigarette, uh, you give like a year of life to some guy. I can't remember who the it Marlboro is. The Marlboro Man. <laughs> the Marlboro Man is eternal. Camel Joe. Um. But anyways, so I guess we've rambled on about VR and everything. But uh, right click. I was going to tell you about um, 
Like, you want the real VR experience, you have to be able to walk as much as you want in any direction. Oh, right, yeah. And that would be uh, an omnidirectional treadmill is really the only, this is the best solution we could think of. The Omni. Right, the Omni. It's, it's pretty cool. At the same time, it's a little restricting, and it's not quite natural. And there are some that are really natural, but they weigh, like, two tons and cost $10,000. And you have to have, like, a professional contractor put that fucker in. Yeah. But, like, technology, they're working on technology now to make this, like, a thing. So in 10, 20 years, we might see something like this. That will have, like, neural jacks by then. I don't know. Neural <laughs> jacks is a scary thing. Like, anytime, like, okay, so I had a biology teacher. Fuck, lost right off the bat. That sucks. Um, oh, no, I didn't. Mario. Okay, hey, so hey. I, I had a biology teacher who talked about the neural implants for people who, like, can't move anymore. That sucks. Um, and how, like, technically with this technology in their head, like, that can be hacked. Like, that can be hijacked and, like, things can happen to the technology that's in your mind. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, that's terrifying, right? <laughs> True, yeah. Like, I mean, it, um, it, it hang has... on, now pause. Let's say we will uh, we'll finish talking oh, about this okay. next time on uh, One Heart Heroes. We've had our time. Actually, I think we're a little over our time limit. Enjoy that extra minute, guys. Oh, all for you, big guys. All for you. I'd call you lovelies, Ladies. but apparently that's that's a thing that I can't do due to... Uh, Don't step on the Game Grumps turf, man. <laughs> right. It's dangerous. Don't My step bad. to Danny. God only knows. I mean, you know, I mean, they have a ninja. You're right. Yeah, so I feel like it'd be kind of hard to like chest bump against him. They're like, "Yo, bro," because like he probably have an erection or something. He gets them like 400 something times a day. 800. Oh, it was 800 something yeah. times a day. Yeah. Yeah. So like at any at any point Shit, in time, it's actually Daniel's 80 something times a day. Is it? Yeah, it's 80 something. Oh damn, that was that, way lower than yeah. I thought. Pick up your game, Danny. <laughs> Yeah, man, like, we're rocking half chubs all day and then full at least 200. All right, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Anyways, um, we got off topic. So, <laughs> subscribe, like, comment, guys. If you like what we do, please subscribe. That would be so awesome for us. Um... Leave your opinion somewhere on the internet. Like in the comments below or on Twitter. Tweet at us at One Heart Heroes with the number one. It'll be on the end slate after we uh, get done talking to you. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can click the big heart with a sword in it in the end slate or just like right now in the bottom right corner, click that heart with a sword in it and the little watermark. Do that. You can subscribe to us. Um, I think that's it. All right, man. Later, guys. Later, Tater. Feel the beat. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three, two, there's no way. Mine. Oh, barely. Barely. The Koopa Troopas. Koopa Paratroopas. Get out of here.